hey guys uh, today in this small and very basic tutorial I'll show you that how you can configure or enable the routing between the two different VLANs and plus I'll just take you through my configuration configured devices which you can we can which you can see over here like uh, like uh, I have one switch which is uh, 2950 a single layer switch layer 2 switch and I have a multi layer switch uh, which has a capacity or a functionality of doing the uh, routing and uh, definitely I have a I have a, my end devices connected to the different VLANs so basically I have configured the two VLANs, VLAN 1 and VLAN 2 here on my multi-layer devices. Let me take you through. If you can see over here, show VLAN. I have a VLAN 1 and a VLAN 2. And as you can see, the VLAN 2 is a part of the interface 3. And my default VLAN is a part of the VLAN uh, interface 0 1 and 0 2 so basically 0 1 is a is a trunk port like show interface trunk yeah you see uh, the interface one is is in a trunking mode as you can see and the native VLAN which is passing through is VLAN 1 and definitely the VLAN 1 or uh, interface 1 is allowed with the VLAN 1 and 2 because it's in a trunking mode and here I have a interface 1 uh, sorry mm, yeah that's pretty much so I showed you the VLAN and if I quickly show you the two different IPs for the two different VLANs as you can see you here say show IP interface brief here you can see the st status of the of the interface as you can see this is my trunking board which is up here is my other interface which is connected to the VLAN 1 and here it is connected to the VLAN 2 so if you go all the way down here I configured the VLAN 1 who holds this IP contains this IP and I have a VLAN 2 which holds the 2.1 and the status is up so that means they are up and running okay so let me just take you to my other switch which is the end switch uh, let me just quickly drag it down here yeah so here I configured the VLAN 2 which is part of the uh, port 3 here the PC is connected to the port 3 and show interface brief uh, no sorry show IP interface Damn. Yeah. So here you can see my all three interfaces are up. Since it is a uh, our end switch and it has a single layer functionality, so we don't configure the IP here. So yeah. So now what I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to the my end devices here which is 1.2 if you can quickly see here uh, my end devices which is 192.160a 192.168.1 so as you can see my this PC is in VLAN 1 on connected to the port number 2 and this is VLAN 
a PC which is in the VLAN 2 connected to, connected to the port number 3 and if I'll just take you here uh, so yes so both of devices can ping their own uh, ping their own gateway the 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 connected VLAN so let me just quickly ping the 192.168.1.1 as you can see uh, this VLAN uh, this IP is part of the VLAN 1 and the PC which I am connected to which is in the VLAN 2 is not able to communicate with the VLAN or PC 1 so how do we communicate so it's a very easy way to to enable the communication between the two VLANs or to the two different devices is what you need to do you need to go to your core switch your your main switch which is like a multi layer switch all you need to do if I can show you show IP uh, routing show IP yeah. as you can see uh, the case is not no. so what I need to do is we just need to enable the routing so routing will let the two different VLANs to communicate to each other so let just me quickly take you because I'm running out of battery so IP routing oh yeah so all you need to do is just say IP routing so show IP route now I should be able to see my route table uh, do show IP out yeah as you can see my both VLANs are connected so let me just take quickly take you to the PC2 come on terminal and let me just drag it up here so now I'm gonna communicate to the other VLAN which is 192.168.1.1 it's the other VLAN it should be come up by now no it's not coming uh, let me just make sure I have a gateway yeah the gateway was missing so remember if you do not have a gateway you won't be able to communicate to the other VLAN so I have my gateway now just let me just quickly make it your go back here and now I should be able to ping yeah that's right and if I want to communicate to my other partner on the other switch 